Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have an uh, unboxing here, uh, two watch straps. I think there's some other stuff in here too. Um, Strap Seeker provided the funds to purchase these watches from Amazon, so I think some of my, another part of my order arrived in here as well. But uh, let's, uh, let's just tear it open here. So here are the straps from Strap Seeker, and uh, these are just some um, batteries for my smoke detectors. So right, let's zoom in a bit here. So we have the Theo and the Watts hybrid straps. I previously had, I think it was called the Luca, and I forgot the name of the other one, but uh, with these two straps, I will have four hybrid straps from Strap Seeker, and I will be comparing them all in a future video here. So anyway, let's get this thing open. So I believe this is the Watts. It has uh, leather with the rubber backing. Well, actually, it says here, doesn't it? Uh, it doesn't say, but this is called the Watts. And this one is the Theo. So this one, I believe, is uh, nylon with rubber backing. Just a card in here as well, it just didn't slide out. So there you go. You want to read that information? And there's the warranty, a uh, six month warranty. Now, this one is a little bit different of a tool. Looks like a plastic body, uh, metal tips, of course. And this is the tool that came with this one. And there's some spring bars in there. So these are not a uh, quick release. So yeah, this is more of a nylon look and feel to it. Then just have the rubber back. There are little notches on here to keep the keeper in place. Let's see, this one does not have that feature. So these are the watches here that I selected to put them on. So I'll put these on and then uh, maybe in a week or so or two weeks, I'll have a full video. Uh, this is the other Strap Seeker strap. This one has kind of a leather with carbon fiber look to it. But I had said in my previous video, if I were to get another strap, I'd want to get uh, one with white stitching to match up with the white on the dial here. So of course I had to pick black with white. It looks to be, yeah, the back of it looks the same. So the rubber backing looks to be the same. And then the other strap seeker strap I have, the rubber backing is a little bit different uh, shape. So anyway, let's um, get these off of here. So this is Damasco and then, oh, I didn't show you the other watch. This is another Damasco. This is the DB5. It's on this kind of a vintage aged uh, Damasco strap. Very, very comfortable strap, but it's all leather, so it's not um, not going to be that good to sweat in or get wet. So I wanted to try this one out on this watch here. So let's get these straps off of here. I don't want to use that tool. Don't want to use that one either. So let's just use the one they provided. Meant with this strap on a different watch for my comparison video. So we have three spring bars in here. Uh, these are 20 millimeter straps. Uh, 
Uh, let's just cut into this. Should be using my silicone mats, but they're all occupied at the moment. All right. Let's try that again. So we'll do the black straps on this one and then the leather straps on the other one. Put this on there. I'm going to wonder what that piece is for. Wiggle it around. Hopefully it goes in the hole there. Okay, so we're in there. I think, so. I think we are. Yep. So let's get the other one in place. So line up the bottom hole here. Push the strap in place and then just push the bar down with my fingernail. Well, that one's not going in quite as good. There we go. Got it in place. Uh, you know, that way it won't scratch the case with the spring bar tool. Alright, so this one looks like to be a little bit tight of a fit. I'm getting some rubbing on here. All right, onto the leather one. So there's three spring bars in here as well. A little bit tighter of a fit here. Trying to center that a little bit. Take off this strap with those spring bars. I don't know what happened with my factory strap for the other damask. I don't know where I end up putting that, so you'd be a little more, a little more careful. This watch is a limited edition. I think there's maybe 50 of these. I don't exactly remember. Cool watch. I just I really don't wear it that much, so Maybe I'll sell it. All right, so I'll have to put this strap with spring bars in a plastic bag so I don't lose anything there. Set that over there. This might be a little more difficult to get in place here. So they're a little bit thick in all dimensions. I 
oh, went too far with that. Okay, got that one in place. I'll throw each of these on wrist real quick and then uh, close out the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It really does help me out. That looks kind of like a long unboxing video here. All right, so that one is in place. Let me get this on wrist and the other one and then we'll close out the video. Then I'll clean up my mess off camera here. So it looks like it has plenty of holes here in the strap with six and a half inch wrists. Well, not that it matters for a strap video, maybe it does, but I still have two more hole positions there to go. Uh, they have this in at least seven different colors. I had a hard time picking the tan that I wanted or the brown. So I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is the dark brown. Just trying to get something close to this color here. But uh, I think it looks good on this strap. Let me know what you think. It does feel a little stiff right now. I'm sure it'll take a little bit of time for it to break in. Uh, so one thing to note with the, the Moscow watch and the factory strap is it kind of blossoms out here. Hopefully you can see that. So it makes the 20 millimeter strap look more like a 22. Anyway, there we go. All right, let's put the other one on wrist. So they both look to be, yeah, they're the same thickness. The watch strap is what I'm speaking about there. The watches are not the same thickness. This is a thinner watch. This is the DS30. There we go. So let me know let me know what you think of these strap combinations here. I like the black and white with the black and white. So yeah, I might uh, just uh, bend these around my fingers here and uh, maybe they'll be able to become a little more pliable, but uh, they should uh, break down a little bit, become a little more uh, flexible the longer you wear them. I mean, up to a certain point, but uh, right now they're a little bit stiff. Anyway, that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.